Hello and welcome, um, my name is David Thorne, I'm from Thorne Web Design, um, welcome to YouTube, uh, otherwise if you're on Facebook. Um, this is going to be the first um, of, let's say, many um, PHP tutorials which I'm going to do. Um, this one is actually about what is PHP and server-side programming. Okay. Um, we're not really going to be doing any programming in this, but if you're brand new to PHP and this is answering your question, what is PHP? Uh, I'm going to explain it to you right now. Okay. Now, if you have any um, knowledge about what a website is, I'm really hoping you do because you're actually on YouTube or Facebook right now looking at a website, so you knew how to find the website. Big thumbs up, well done. Okay. Um, server side programming is basically uh, a way right let's let's explain this shall we okay I actually had it all thought out how I was going to do it all right look this is the website to PHP is php.net um, this is the all the information where you can basically find um, about the different methods the functions the rules the syntax and so on all about PHP that's not what we want to talk about we want to talk about this is just um, a page of HTML which has been displayed. All right. Now, this HTML has come from the server where PHP.NET is and where it's saved. On this server, they have two different methods of displaying websites. All right. They can either send it back in HTML, which is what they send it back anyway, or they have a way of processing some data some information, extracting um, stuff from a database, um, manipulating some images, uh, processing some algorithms and stuff to really work out um, who, is, who is actually visiting us and so on, saving some data. Now HTML doesn't do this, it just displays boxes, text, um, pictures and so on, it, and then it can be structured with CSS, cascade and style sheets. PHP is a server side language which only works on the server. Now we've got client side and we've got server side. All right? To show you very, very briefly and easily, I believe, I've got this picture, just found it on Google, and we've got basically it's outlining um, the difference between client and server. Okay, so on the left hand side we've got the clients. Now, you're sat in front of a computer watching a, a video on a website. I'm sat in front of a computer actually doing this video to go on the website. Now, whenever we're interacting with a website itself, we are the clients, alright? We are the customer. It's actually the computer that is classed as the client rather than you, okay? It means that the client is requesting information and the server is resp responding with the information to display on the website or with inside of the browser. Okay. Initially when you request um, the browser itself say please get me php.net's website. All right? That will send a request to the IP address which is linked to this URL. Okay. It will find the server through other methods which we're not going to get into it will then find the server that it's on the server then will then say which directory it needs to go to now if there isn't any file after this like index.html um, page.html or index.php if there isn't a page then it will land at a default file all the time now when it when the server looks at this, it will say, "What's this file extension? Is there anything? Is there a way that I need to process this?" Now, if it's HTML, it will basically just take this data and send it back in the response. All right. If it's JavaScript, it will say, "This is text. I'm going to send you back the text." If it's an image, it will send back a binary of the image and so on. Now, if it's PHP, what it will do is it will pass that then to the um, PHP element, the compiler, uh, and it will say, right, please interpret all of this code, right, and process me and give me the output. 
Now, your PHP file has lots of text in it as well, and it has lots of coding and language. That language is then basically going to the compiler and saying, right, there's some um, different functions here, here from different um, programs. Please process this. Now, potentially, all of the, the, the um, code which is, which is processing it for you has been compiled already, um, but these, these um, libraries are actually the one doing all the work for you. So your PHP code is just a way of telling the server itself look please process this in this manner do it follow these different rulings and stuff like that and please provide me with the output and do some calculations manipulate some images put some stuff into the database and so on so you are providing the instructions which need to be processed on the server now once all of this data has been processed by PHP the output preferably is going to be in HTML or in textual form now the server does not understand HTML whatsoever. It's just like you not understanding Japanese and you send in a request over um, in, in, uh, in English. Now I don't understand English. Right, I do, but let's for the time being say I'm Japanese and I don't understand English. So you're sending a request over to me in English well, I then send it to the interpreter on my side and say, please translate that and then provide me with the Japanese. I then check the Japanese. I then say, well, OK, I've done everything that you wanted to do. I'll now send it back with my output back to the interpreter. Interpreter says, OK, I'm just going to mix it round back into English once again and then send it back to you. Now, you can now understand and read the English which has been responded to you. So at no point did the server understand the, the information which you sent it. It just had different methods and ways to be able to interpret it and to process it in different ways. Okay, Because there's PHP and there's MySQL and there's a few other things as well which can be used. All right? so, um, this is all server side, it's computing, it's actually sat on the server um, as if uh, you was using an application on your computer. You are just um, finding a link and to where the instructions are going to be sent to the server to be processed and then you're receiving as the client the response from the server which like I said preferably is HTML. Now once the HTML which has come from the server lands back at the browser okay which you put in the browser also doesn't understand the response the HTML which has come back from the server it has no idea what it is so the browser says wait a minute I'm going to give it to the engine the engine with inside of it be it gecko and so on that then processes it it understands HTML that then processes it into something called the document object model which is um, stored with inside of the memory. Once that has all been processed it puts any JavaScript and CSS anything else into it and it's made a tree of all of this information. Now that then sends it back and says right now I'm ready to output. It's made a tree structure it knows exactly how it's going to be displayed and then basically after a little bit of this that and the other it then outputs this web page for you now every single time you go over one of these links you see tuts.php links.php and so on and so on and so on these are all requests which are going to be sent to the server in order to then have returned the HTML which we need or the text that we need all right the server doesn't understand what is actually on on the client side it just understands which request you want through a URL excuse me through a URL okay so how does PHP how do we use PHP okay well with HTML you would have an index.html or a default.html um, for a landing site or you would request any page um, directly by um, permitting 
then the actual uh, file itself with the correct file extension. Now, when you request an, a .html file, that response that request is sent to the server, but potentially it never goes anywhere near the PHP element on the server because it doesn't need to because it's HTML. That's just textual information. So it sends a request, collects it, and responds. Right? Then it continues with outputting it. Now, when you send a request to the server within an, an extension of .php, the server, then, the server then says, wait a minute, I need to process this in a slightly different manner and sends it off to someone else, be it PHP, to process it. That PHP processor, let's call it, sends back then the textual response which you need to send back to the clients. Right? Or you don't, but the server then sends back to the clients. So, with inside of our PHP file, what we can do is make a basic HTML file, I mean basic HTML file, even with the title of basic HTML file. As basic information not processed by PHP. Okay, so let's save that and let's just go and have a look what it does, shall we? So we come over to our, our web page and as you can see here we've got a title of basic HTML file and then basic information not processed by PHP. Now um, as you can see here this or as if I explain to you if we come here this is index.php right now if I just chuck an index.html file uh, in there as well okay so this is now the index.html and we'll just make a title here saying index.html alright and I will be collected and it will ignore the PHP file okay so let's come back over to our web page and let's remove this. So we're just landing at the root directory. And believe it or not. Huh, okay. Alright, well some servers they set up. My one my one must be set up to take the um, to to use the .php as precedence, okay, over the um, PHP file itself. In some circumstances when you have the settings um, done incorrectly then it will then collect the index.html first. So this is something which you have to be careful of, is that you've actually um, got your server settings done properly. Um, the best way around it is just to decide, wait a minute, do I want index.html or do I want index.php? Um, and if you want .php, then you don't make an index.html. Right? They can do exactly the same thing. Um, so let's just re remove that, shall we? Um, okay, so now we've got the index.php file and we've seen what the output was, was just basic information not processed by PHP. Now what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to dump this index.php. I'm just going to delete it. There we go. And let's open our index.html file up. That's saved. Let's come back to our page now. And as you can see, index.html and so on is here. Okay, it will, it, I will be collected and it will ignore the PHP file. Okay, so now how do you use PHP? Just like HTML, you have an opening tag and a closing tag. Well, the PHP one's got one which is slightly different but uses the same concept. Okay, you have to open it and close it um, if you're going to continue with another language past it. All right. So when um, our server that starts this request. Um, just bear with me in this one, all right? Is that it's going to come all the way down to here and read it as um, just textual information. And then it's going to come to here and go, oh, wait a minute, that's PHP. I've got to process it in a different way. Now, one of the methods within inside of PHP can say, can basically output 
hello world okay and echo just means output so it will just send back uh, this text now at the moment there's an indication here because the um, the text highlighter isn't working all right now what I'm going to do is going to save this and I'm going to show you what has actually happened here all right let's find our page again whoops okay let's come here and as you can see here it completely ignored this echo um, hello world it never actually outputted it at all alright so it's completely ignored all this totally and not done anything with it at all um, which is also a bit strange um, because normally it would just send it out okay anyway it just basically goes to show you that um, well the ruling behind this nice and simple is if you're going to use PHP then you need to have a .php extension alright it won the file name so let's now come back to here and I'm just going to rename this to uh, actually I'm going to have to delete it and let's just copy this for the sake of purposes of this so we don't have to do it again yep delete and then let's just add a PHP file sorry I'm just doing this on my other screen okay got the PHP file let's check that back in there okay this time let's do the same thing say echo hello world world spot correctly come back over to Internet Explorer give it a refresh and as you can see now we've got hello world come back to the um, source code and as you can see here the PHP tags never got sent back that's because it, that page got processed by the server in PHP and it just outputted the textual information which we told it to output you have to tell PHP what to output if you don't tell it it doesn't output anything it just processes information okay now PHP can um, well it can do anything with text okay but if we come here and we say okay echo um, less than b forward um, more than hello space world and so on you get the picture here okay php doesn't understand these html tags it just understands it as text as symbols as letters as numbers and so on it understands a couple of other symbols that are slightly different um, but this just un understands it exactly the way it is so let's just save this come back to here come back to the source code again and as you can see it actually sent back the bold tags now when it did get sent back naturally the engine itself because it got sent back some text the engine then translated it and it understands all of the HTML tags which are in it okay um, so basically I think to summarize on this is what is PHP well PHP is a widely used general purpose scripting language that is especially suited for web development and can be embedded into HTML if you are new to PHP and want some idea of how it works try the introductory tutorial after that check out the online manual and the example archive sites and some of the other resources available in the link section ever wondered how blah 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 right um, you can do that it's fantastic otherwise buy a book is always a good thing otherwise just keep watching all right and I'm going to assist you with this I hope now you've got a better understanding of um, what this uh, image does uh, okay and um, and I'll see you um, in the next tutorial to start talking about a few other parts of PHP okay my name is David Thorne um, from Thorne Web Design thank you very much for watching um, I hope you've learned something please come back to the next one um, because I'm going to start actually teaching you something of how to use PHP rather than what is PHP. Come and visit me at um, Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash thorn design. Pop me a question, um, give me a request and so on and you're going to get a response from me. Alright, there's a little bit of um, kind of server side stuff there. 
All right. Okay. Um, that's me done. Um, have a nice evening, a nice day, um, and for me, good night.